It's happening. Nigerians gives Peter Obi conditions before voting him as president. As they have promised, we will vote you because we see among them all, you seem to be the only one who can really represent us. However, there are conditions we expect you to meet with. If these terms and conditions can be met with, if you can have that discussion with us and show to us really, really sincerely that you are ready to serve us, okay, and not like the others who come with, you know, with ambiguous promises only to get votes and at the end of the day, they are off, okay, like, like a deceit, they are off and they, they don't mean you well. They don't want to do anything for you. They don't even want to make the nation better. All they are working at is themselves. Working for and for is for themselves. So these are the conditions. And Peter will be, you can, you can be sure of your man. You know, he's planning a, a, a symposium where he can engage with Nigerians and promise them and show to them. Because again, truly and sincerely speaking, what can you do? You can only hope and pray. That, that's the sincere truth. You can only hope and pray, nothing more, like seriously, you, because talk is cheap. Anybody can promise you anything. At the end of the day, that they fulfill it is another thing. If they do, you, you stand a very good place to give glory to God and to be very grateful, you see. So these are some of the things happening right now. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians give Peter Obi conditions before voting him as president. Nigerians on Twitter have taken on the former governor of Anambra State and is running and running mate of the former vice president Atiku Abubakar in the 2019 presidential election before they can vote for him in the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. Yesterday we saw Peter Obi throw himself into the race and said he's ready to become Nigerian's leader. A lot of persons and a lot of matters has gone on with regards to his leadership and Nigerians are quite pleased and happy with him, especially with what he did in Anambra State and hope that he will reciprocate same in Nigeria. However, Nigerians have taken to Twitter to ask that there be a formal meeting where the former governor of Anambra State will be asked some questions where they can ascertain if really sincerely truly is the one for the job. Because most of them who are coming out, we are not voting them. How they will get their vote, we don't know. Peter Obi took to his Twitter handle to officially inform Nigerians of his intention to run as president in 2023. According to the tweets, Twitter source from his official Twitter handle, Dear Nigerians, I am here to officially inform you that I will be aspiring for the post of the president of the Federal Republic come 2023. The tweet was received with mixed reactions by Nigerians on Twitter. Some opinion was that it is a welcome idea Why some others gave him conditions before they can cast their votes. As they said, we will no longer cast our votes for everybody and anybody. Will you let Nigerians bank interact with crypto? That's part of the condition. And I want to say good luck to you. Only if you can secure this country and bring us right back on track, give us visions that could position Nigeria for greater height. And I want to say, Peter Obi, it's a good thing you have officially declared your intention to run for presidency. Hopefully, Southern leaders stand by you because they are more divided than you can imagine. We will stand by you to make sure you win this election as Nigerian youths. Good luck to you, but please promise us that you will not be like Buhari. And so the comments have come on, different reactions all over with regards to what Nigerians are expecting from the former governor of Anambra State. We've been bringing you up to speed what this man did, wise as the governor of Anambra State. Yes, he did quite well. I must be very sincere with you. Peter Obi did well, okay? When he left office, I mean, it's not a, it's not hearsay, okay? He left office, he left good money for the next person so that the next person does not come struggling. It's like a father who has worked hard, and I've done a lot for his children so that when the children come, they don't have to go and look for a job. Okay. The family already have an existing business and you can fit in. I mean, it's a conglomerate. You can fit in into any arm of the, of the, of the, of the, of the business and you can do well. 
If you say, you know what, I want to work from home, you can do the official, uh, you do the administrative, you know, whatever part. If you want to be in the production area, you can be a manager in that regard. So this is a family who has done well. But guess what? By the time he left 75 billion plus for his, uh, for his successor, that successor for his own predecessor left 400 billion debt. You can see the difference. And let me be very honest with you. Whatever any, any of the aspirants, okay, that are intending to become Nigerian's president, newsflash, whatever they have done before, whatever they have done before, okay, however they have done it, is what they will replicate when they become president. Because whether you like it or not, it's one of these same people that we are seeing today, okay, you know, that will, that will become the president, all things being equal. Okay, all things being equal is one of the same people that you are saying now that will become, you know, that will become the president. So whatever such an individual have done in his state, get ready. That's what they will do. If you go to Buhari's antecedent, whatever is happening now is not a stranger to what Buhari has done before. It's not, it, we should not be, you know, apparent, my, my parents told me, said, this is what the man has done. When he came in as a military leader, oh my God, he destroyed the nation in no small way. But the same person, few years down the line, was repackaged, and they believed him, you know, and they, and they, and they accepted him. So whatever, if, if the person had had a scandal, if the person had stolen money while he was a state governor, or he was a senator, or he was a House of Rep member, he did nothing, welcome to what the person will do. It's a mirror image, okay, of what is going to happen going forward. It's just a mirror, a representation of what such an individual will do. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This is exactly what they will do. They won't do something different. It's not going, it's not magic. Nothing magical is going to happen all of a sudden from some uh, zona, whatever. Something, you know, is going to pop up from the sky. Oh no, you deceive yourself. You deceive yourself. It's not going to happen. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not going to happen. So welcome to Nigeria where certain individuals, you know, wake up one morning and they want to call the shot for the whole nation without, you know, records to what will really happen. But Peter Obi has done well. And this is what we are saying to you, that if that man can work so hard and put money in the, in the state treasury, he's going to replicate same. He's going to replicate same. So it's an opportunity to give somebody who has shown us an example opportunity to do something. So leave us a comment. We would really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.